Welcome back to the Shoe Sports Report. We had a lot happen since we were last on two weeks ago, so sit back and relax as we bring you all the updates on shoe sports action. I'm Anthony Saccone. And I'm Ryan Tui. Anthony, a lot of Sacred Heart sports have entered conference play and are proving to be tough contenders. That's right, Ryan, and one of those teams is on an absolute tear in Northeast Conference play. That's right, Anthony. Women's basketball has started off strong in conference play, and since we were last on, they were 4-0 in NEC play. The women's basketball team looked to stay undefeated in conference play, but over the past two weeks suffered their first losses. They are now 6-2 in NEC play. They played four teams over the past two weeks, going 2-2 two two in that stretch. The Pioneers defeated St. Francis Brooklyn and Wagner, with the two losses coming against St. Francis U and Robert Morris. A major reason the Piles were able to win those first two games was due to the sens sensational play of grad student Catherine Haynes, who entered herself into the history books. In the team's victory over St. Francis Brooklyn, Haynes became the first player in program history to record a triple-double. She tallied 25 points, 15 rebounds, and a career-high 11 blocks as she helped to propel the Piles to a hard-earned 68-66 win over the Terriers. Two days later against Wagner, Haynes entered the game with another chance to make history, becoming just the 20th player in program history to score 1,000 career points and the 13th at the Division I level. Haynes was up to the challenge and scored 19 points on the day, netting her 1,000th point on a layup in the fourth quarter as Sacred Heart defeated the Seahawks 72-64. Due to these performances and achievements, she earns NEC Player of the Week honors for the two consecutive weeks. And the women's basketball team looks to get back on track this weekend as they welcome St. Francis Brooklyn to the Pitt Center on Saturday afternoon for a 1 p.m. showdown. And we'll keep it on the court as the men's team has had similar success in their NEC season. All right, you are, Ryan. The men's basketball team also had four games over the stretch looking to improve on their 3-1 and one record. Since our last show, men's basketball has gone 1-3. Their one win, though, was extremely impressive as they dominated NEC foe Wagner here at home to remain undefeated on coach by court through NEC play. By the time you even blinked in this contest, the Pios jumped out to an 18-3 lead. Wagner attempted to climb back, but they were no match for the Pioneers as Sacred Heart went on to dominate this contest 62-38. Leading the way for Shu was sophomore E.J. Anaseki with 19 points and senior Sean Hohen with 15 points. First-year sensation Kareem Ozier battled down low as he tallied nine total rebounds in the contests. And also down low, it was an absolute block party for the Pioneers as big man redshirt junior Jarrell Spellman had himself a day with nine total blocks. Men's basketball will now look to snap their two-game skid as they travel on the road to take on Mount St. Mary's tonight at 7 p.m. And before we head to break, we will touch on some Sacred Heart Wrestling as they are having a record-breaking year. Since we were last on, Sacred Heart Wrestling has broken a program record. Two huge wins earlier this month set a new record for wins in the program's history. In a close battle against Franklin and Marshall, Sacred Heart walked away with a 19-18 victory, and a solid 43-9 win over AIC has given Shu three dual meets on the year. Following those two wins, a tough loss against a top EIWA opponent, got Shu ready for the Wildcat Open. The top performer from the Wildcat Open was first-year Kyle Rantall, who took third overall in the 125-pound weight class. Next up for wrestling is a home contest, which will, be, which will be played at the same time as a men's volleyball match on February 1st. The event has been dubbed Volley Brawl and will be streamed simultaneously. Both of the, those events are at the Pitt Center. The wrestling match against Binghamton will start at 6 p.m. After the break, we will have more Sacred Heart Sports action coming your way. Welcome back to the Shoe Sports Report. Since the weather is only getting colder, we might as well get you guys all caught up on Sacred Heart Ice Hockey. The Pioneers look to maintain no losses since November 17th, but found their first loss against a tough Quinnipiac team, losing 2-1. It was a hard-fought battle as Shoe found themselves down 2-0 going into the third period. It looked like the Pios would climb back into the contest as junior Jane Lewis scored early in the third period, but the Bobcats' defense was just too tough to crack as they defeated the Pios 2-1. Building off a positive game, the Pioneers went up against Post, and boy did they take it to them. The Pios erupted for an 11-0 victory. If seven goals in the first period isn't setting the tone, then I don't know what is. The Pios came right out and put a seven spot on the board in the first period alone. 
Jane Lewis led the scoring with a hat trick. Sophomore Lexi Edwards, first year Kennedy Spearing, and fellow classmate Anna Klein all tallied a pair of goals in the affair. Senior goaltender Sarah Urban picked up the win in net, improving her record to 12, 2, and 3. A makeup game was played against Post as well, but was considered an away game for Shu. Once again, the Pioneers had Post's number, as they once again posted a 7-goal game and shut out Post for the fifth time this season alone. The Pioneers are back on the ice Friday, February 1st, as they get set for a two-game series against New Ha foe Franklin Pierce. And keeping it on the ice, we will get you caught up on men's ice hockey, who had a big two weeks. The men's ice hockey team had a pair of two-game home series over the past two weeks. In the first series, they hosted AHA foe Air Force. In the first game, the Pioneers fed off the electric play of sophomore forward Jordan Kaplan and first-year goalie Josh Benson. Kaplan scored two goals and Benson recorded 22 saves as Shu took the first game 3-1. In the second game, Shu jumped out in front 2-0 following goals from first-years Ryan Steele and Austin Majera. This time, however, Air Force had a response, and like Kaplan did the night prior, it was thanks in part to a two-goal performance. Air Force's junior forward Trevor Stone scored twice, one goal in the second and another in the third, which tied the game at two. The game wound up going into overtime, where ultimately neither team could come away with the game-winning goal, thus with the result was a 2-2 two -two draw. The next weekend, Sacred Heart welcomed Holy Cross to Bridgeport. In the first game, the Piles and Crusaders were tied at one heading into the third period, but Sacred Heart wasn't going to settle for a draw this time around and proceeded to explode on offense, scoring four times in the final 20 minutes of play to take the first game by a score of 5-2. to two. The team looked for the sweep in the second game, but ultimately couldn't get into any sort of groove all game long. Holy Cross made the Pioneers pay for this and would go on to salvage the second game 4-1. to one. Two nights ago, Sacred Heart traveled north to in-state rival UConn for a Tuesday night matchup. Sacred Heart walked away with the win 2-1. to one. Freshman Ryan Steele cashed in the game-winning goal in the second period. And men's ice hockey hits the road this weekend as they take on the Colonials of Robert Morris from Friday to Saturday. Friday's game will start at 7.05 p.m., while Saturday's will start at 1.05 p.m. And finally, to round out the show, men's volleyball had two games since we last brought you updates on Bob Bertucci's first season as head coach for the Pioneers. Men's volleyball hosted two games over the span of two weeks and gave head coach Bob Bertucci his first win as a Pioneer. The victory came over St. Joseph's College of Long Island. It was a clean 3-0 sweep for the Pioneers. The Pios took the first set 25-13, the second set 25-15, and the third set 25-16. Sophomore Sean Tischler racked up a team-high 10 kills, and junior Timothy McIntosh led the Pioneers with 11 digs. The Pios' tough loss came to a very tough EIVA Harvard team as the Pios battled hard, pushing the match into extra sets, but ultimately lost 3-1. Next up for the Pioneers is a home match paired with wrestling as Volley Brawl will take place on the first as the shared broadcast will have updates from both of the matches. And remember that starts at 6 p.m. at the Pitt Center on February 1st. And that's all the time we have for this week's show. Thanks for tuning in and catching up on all of your Sacred Heart Sports action, highlights, and more. And from all of us here at the Shoe Sports Report, I'm Ryan Suey. And I'm Anthony Saccone. Thanks for watching.